Our school, our community, our home. The Warrior News starts right now. Good morning, Olson. Today is Wednesday, December 1st, 2021, and I'm Denilo Blum. Key Club will be having a meeting to decorate the mini rotunda and bake for the Make-A-Wish Foundation for the month of December, Thursday, after school in room 316. Members who cannot make it to the meeting are to contact Mr. Potaker before the meeting accordingly. These hours count towards club community service requirements. The November edition of the Echo Club is out. Please check your email to read this month's articles. Attention seniors, please check your email in regards to your senior quote. Fill out the Google form that is attached to submit your quote by this Friday, December 3rd. SAD is collecting gifts for students ages 12 through 18 for the Children's Home of Easton. If you are able to donate gifts are due to Mr. Presti Filippo by December 14th, please do no gift resembling weapons. Today, we are highlighting a staff member for a teacher's spotlight. Let's get to know Ms. Black a little better today. We are here with Ms. Black, the chorus teacher, and we're gonna ask her a couple questions. I grew up in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. It's about two and a half hours south of here. Okay, who was the biggest influence in your life? Uh, definitely my mom. My mom's also a music teacher, so she was a choir director while I was growing up, and then she went back into teaching after my siblings and I were done with school. Okay, since you like music, have you liked it all your life? And what, who is your biggest musical influence? Yes, I've definitely uh, liked music all of my life. Um, I started playing the piano when I was five, singing since I was walking probably, played trumpet throughout the school. Biggest influence, um, musical influence, uh, definitely would have to be Chopin. I'm going some old school music there, uh, famous uh, pianist that I love to play. Where did you go to college? I am a Penn Stater. How long have you been teaching here? I've been teaching here seven years. And now that you've been teaching for seven years, we heard that you recently got engaged. Do you want to tell us about how it happened? Uh, sure. Um, so right after the school year was done, um, I knew it was going to happen because um, my fiance, David, um, told me to go get my nails done and my toes done. So that was a big hint hint. Uh, we had a trip planned up to Newport, Rhode Island, and I didn't know what was going on that first day. I knew it was going to happen sometime that weekend, thought it was going to be the next day on the cliff walk, um, but we ended up at this Chandler Inn along the cliff walk, and conveniently our table wasn't ready, so decided to go to the restroom really quickly, and then we go outside to look around, he's showing me the views, and then all of a sudden I see him turning around behind me, grabbing something out of his pocket, and he went on down on one knee and asked me. And then, all of a sudden, there was a photographer there. He hired a photographer to take our pictures. And so we already had an engagement shoot, and then we had an incredible eight-course meal viewing over the water then. It was amazing. It's like a movie. Do you have any siblings or anyone that will be close to you in the wedding? Uh, yes, I have uh, two siblings. I have a sister who lives in Coopersburg. Uh, she's gonna be my matron of honor. Um, my brother, Michael, who uh, lives in Chambersburg, he's going to be one of the groomsmen. And also my sister-in-law, his wife, uh, Lauren, is going to be one of my bridesmaids. All right. Good luck with the wedding. Thank you, Ms. Black. Thank you. That's all we have for you today, Wilson. Make sure to follow us on YouTube at Warrior News 15 to keep up to date with the latest from us. I'm Denyla Blunt, and have a great day, Wilson.